Clue Network. To edify, to encourage, to upskill. This is Christian Life Upskill with Ifai of Hong Subscribe now. Hi, welcome to Clue Christian Life Upskill. My name is Ifai of It's another Christmas. I want to give big thanks to God for. <laughs> The opportunity has given to us for sparing our lives to see under Christmas. You know, the Christmas is buzzing, the Christmas rice is smiling everywhere. You know, cows are laying down their lives, chickens are laying down their lives. Now we're so grateful to God that we enjoy this Christmas. You know, and in this video, I just want to be sharing with us just little healthy tips that we we should cultivate or do things we should do during this period. You know, to make it enjoyable, not just for us, for others also. So sit back and enjoy. The first healthy tip I want to be sharing with us is that we should always remember that Christmas is all about Jesus. Christmas is all about Jesus. Never forget that. It's all about Jesus. The book of John chapter 3 verse 16. Bible writing says, Jesus actually talking says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, God sending Christ to the world demonstrated three things. You know, he demonstrated that God is a all-loving God, all-giving God, and all-forgiving God. That was what he demonstrated by sending Christ to us. You know, he, he changed the equation. Luke chapter 2, verse 14, when the angels were singing, they says, Joy to the world and peace to all men. And goodwill to he said peace to the world and goodwill to all men. The word there is Hyodokia. You know, I was reading a commentary and he said something that really touched me. The the guy writing on the commentary says, From now on, God will start treating men differently. So the coming of Christ brought a lot of things. There was a shift. Hallelujah. God started treating men differently. Grace came. Hallelujah. So you should remember it's all about Jesus. It's when you see those Christmas lights. Remember that Jesus came as the light of the world. John chapter 8 verse 12. He says, I am the light of the world. And anyone that follows me shall not walk in darkness. You know, and he has made us to be that light. Remember in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. He says, let your life so shine. Hallelujah. So he was the light. He left as the light and made us the light. You know, when you, when, when you, when you go to give people Christmas gifts, remember that Jesus Christ was the perfect gift. Hallelujah. It was that perfect. It was that gift of God. Hallelujah. So remember, the first thing you must remember about this Christmas is that this Christmas, first, is all about Jesus. First, it's all about Him. It's all about the love that God demonstrated for us. It's all about His sacrifice. Hallelujah. The second tip I want to share is that we must always remember the forgotten. Hallelujah. You know, while we are preparing gifts to give to our friends, our family members, our nephews, our cousins, and all that. Remember those who have been forgotten. Remember that beggar. You know, remember that needy. Remember those in the hospital. Remember the aged. So while you're preparing your gift to give to your family members, remember to send those wants, those greetings, to those ones who are less privileged. To the orphans who have no father and mother. You know, to the aged who have no, no who have no people to show them love. You know, to that guy sick in the hospital who have nobody to, you know, to keep him warm, we must always remember to never to forget the forgotten. You must always keep them in mind. While you're preparing your stuffs, remember those ones. Hallelujah. The third practice I want us to imbibe in this period is that you must offer the olive branch. What do I mean by that? You know, is trying to reconcile with those who, you know, we've had a rift with. You know, some of us have siblings you've not been talking to. You have friends you're not talking to because of one issue or the other. You know, this should be that period where we reach out to people. It's a test message you do good. A, giving out a call would be, would be great. Ask them how they're doing. Tell them you love them. Send them gift. Ask for their account number. Send them some money. You know, so this should be that period where we offer the olive branch, where we reach out to those who have hurt us. You know, Paul was right. He says, if you have hurt against any, since even as God has forgiven us, you should also forgive. You know, Jesus was talking in Lord's Prayer. He says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
So while we are enjoying this Christmas, we should also remember to reach out to those who we have hurt against. Reach out to them, you know, get acquainted back, call them, tell them you love them. Forgive people, you know, forgive. Even those who are owing you, that is what forgiveness is all about. You know, people who are owing you, if one of these guys can't pay, or even if they don't want to pay you anymore. Not because they don't have, but because they don't, want, they don't just want to pay. Forgive, let it go. Just call them and say, I'm forgiving your debt. Hallelujah. This is what Christmas is all about. Where you offer the olive branch. God has forgiven us in Christ. So we can also forgive and let things go. Hallelujah. So this is a thought practice I feel is so important for us to imbibe in this period. Then the last and not the least practice is the practice of singing hymns and praise. You know, why the rice is flying, the meats are flying and all that. We should also remember the words of Jesus. You know, he says, men ought always to pray. You know, Paul writing to the coalition, to the Thessalonica church, he says, pray without season. So while you are eating your rice, while you are eating your meat and all that, and you're talking, remember to take our time and read some hymns. Read about the amazing grace. You know, read about that song that says, how great the art. Read about, read about some of these great hymns that was written years ago. You know, remind yourself about some of these things. Remind yourself about the work that Christ has done for us. And then take our time to pray, not for yourself, but for others. And also pray about the next year. You know, prepare yourself for the next year. There are challenges that will come next year. Put yourself in that shape where you can face the challenges of next year. So don't just pray, don't just eat and have a merry and all that. While you are eating and doing all this, remember also that you have an enemy. So keep yourself in, ch in charge. Keep things in shape through your prayer. Hallelujah. Job was enjoying, his children were enjoying. They didn't know that trouble was coming. Don't, let us live that kind of life. We should live knowing that you have an enemy. So in all the merriment, remember that you should pray. Take our time, sing hymns, worship God and pray. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to say a big happy Christmas to you. And I want to say that the hand of God is good up, has been good upon you this year and will continue to be good upon you as you step into the next year. The grace of God will even get stronger on our lives. The hand of God will become better on our lives. Thank you so very much for taking our time. You know, don't forget to send gifts to people. Send gifts to your friends. Send gifts to your enemies. Send gifts to me. I will not mind. You know, and as you do this, God will bless you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah.